We'll do a quick explanation of this test blend we're going to do. Uh, we've got four totes up here. We're going to be pulling from all four totes to make this blend. And then we've got two hand adds. So we're going to do a bag and a little more of ammonium sulfate, plus uh, use out of these three jugs uh, for uh, the blend. We're ready to do our blend here today. We'll just do a quick blend. It has six products. We're coming four of them out of bulks with a total of about 70 gallons of chemical and uh, two hand ads. So we will have our um, uh, blend set up ahead of time. Typically this is going to be an 80 acre mix at 15 gallons per acre. So we're doing a 1200 gallon mix. This next screen shows the list of products. Um, total of about 70 gallons of chemical. We got some AMS dry to go in as well as a hand add here of a drift control agent. Next thing is we'll start up and go. So we're preloading the inductor with water at this point for the dry flowable and you can see up here the bulk products are already pumping as well as the water. So now, when we get this vertical bar graph, it's asking for us to add something to the mix. We're going to do our AMS, but I'm going into continuous flow mode. So you can see here, we've got water flowing continuously through the inductor. And uh, I'll just add my ammonium sulfate here. Okay, now we go back, we do an increment the counter for each bag we add, and then we exit the continuous mode when that's done. So now we're in the weighing mode here. So you can see that go up as I pour the product in the hopper. Looks good, we got 64.2 pounds on that. I'll hit next, it'll drain and rinse that inductor out. So now it's rinsing. I forgot to put my gloves on for demo. It's actually all water and ammonium sulfate, so we're good. Okay, it's asking for my jug product here, so back up and watch it. We use air to empty the jug quickly, so it drains the jug, it's weighing, and goes right into rinse. And also while it's rinsing, it's draining the inductor. So we got 1.73 gallons out of that first jug. Rinsing. And our last one here, we'll just pour it, get up there and get the picture of the bar graph going up here. If we haven't talked too long, we won't hit hold back. another touch of a splash here. We call that good. We've got 5.69 gallons there. So it drained, it's rinsing the inductor. Sounds like we're hitting hold back here a little bit. So I talked a little too much instead of mixing. So it's holding back water so that you don't run out to get all the hoses and the system rinsed. Now it's going to kick in and it's going to run the balance of the water in. So you hear the pumps change a little bit. Now it's going on the water again. Well, 
So this is a 1,200-gallon load. When I don't have any talking going on, it's actually doing this in about four minutes. Um, and so 1,200 gallons in about four minutes is typical on this demo blend. I was just a bit slow adding my hand ad, so it might take a, just a bit longer. So you can hear the pump starting to wind up, it's cutting the flow down. This setup actually uses the rinse pump to pump water to the sprayer as well. There, it's completed. So in this setup, I'll just hit save and finish there. It's ready to do it again.